In this video, we're going to put on the pivot arms where the helicopter blades attach. And the pivot arms, you can see them right here in the middle. That's what we're going to do in this step. And for that, we need to start by finding the other little aluminum tube. And I'm going to take most of these parts out of the way. I'm just going to push them off to the side. And I'm going to take that alum aluminum tube and I want to cut three pieces that are a quarter inch long. Um, and a quarter inch is the distance of that little rectangle right here. I'll show it to you right here. See this little rectangle? That is a quarter inch. And this little pin is going to go into that little rectangle. So I'm going to cut these as I did before. And if they're too short, that's fine. If they're too long, you're going to have to sand them down. I just want to warn you ahead of time. So now look at the way I cut these. I'm going to take my fingers and spread them apart. And that way I can hold them down so that when I, when I push through, it doesn't go scooting off the table on me. Because they are hard to find once they're on the floor. All right, so there's the first piece. And I'm going to take my hub, and I want to just test fit it into that little rectangle. And this is very small, so there it is right there, and it fits perfect. So I want to do two more pieces just like that. I want to test each one as I cut them to make sure that they do go in. So I'm getting towards my zero point right here. I'm working on the quarter inch. And put my fingers across it and cutting it. I can tell that this one's going to be nice. It's going to fit. This one's a little bit shorter, but that's okay. I can I can tolerate too short, too long I can't. <laughs> so let me do the last one here. Okay, there it is. And we'll just double check to make sure it fits. It just sits in there just so nicely. Okay. This one is just a touch too long. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of sandpaper that I've done before, and I'm going to spin it and sand that edge just a little bit. This is how you make them a little shorter. So that it will drop into that little rectangle just like that. Perfect. Okay. So I got three of those. And then I want to get my piece of plywood sheet. And this time I want the pivot arms. These three pieces right here. And they should come out really easy. If you want to cut them out, you'll notice that there's little tick marks. There's four little tick marks. But once you get two of them done, They pop out really neat, easy. I spend a lot of time as I'm designing the kit making sure that th these things pop out nice. The only, only issue you might have is if the laser doesn't cut all the way through it. Um, and then in that case, sand the back lightly um, or take your hobby knife and go all the way around the perimeter and then they pop out. As before, I want to pop out the little holes if there are little holes in there. Okay, just like that. Okay, so I got those three pieces plus the hub and the three little aluminum tubes. Now, this is the tricky part. I want you to take a piece of plastic and I want you to take thick super glue and I want you to put a drop of super glue onto the plastic because we're not going to put the super glue against the part like this because the super glue is going to go everywhere and it's going to get into that little corner right there and that is going to make it hard to, to, to snap that off. My super glue seems to be clogged here a little bit. There we go. Okay. 
this. I got a little piece of music wire here that I'm going to use kind of like a toothpick to pick up glue and to put it exactly where I want. And that super glue is making my toothpick kind of fuzzy, so I'll just scrape it off. Just like that. Okay. I got it on my finger too. You know what I should be using, and I should be using the happy hands. The happy hands. This is happy hands. Um, it's it's a kind of a wax paste that you take about a pea size amount, like about that amount, and you rub it on your hands, and then the super glue doesn't stick as bad. It will stick, but it will come off later a lot easier. And it makes your hands a little bit tacky, so you can pick up the pieces just a little easier. Okay. So I got my super glue, got my hub, and then I got the pin, and, and I got my toothpick. And so the first part is to take one of these little pivot arms and I put the pin through the hole like that. Okay, and then uh, look at the way I'm holding it between my two fingers and I'm kind of pushing with my thumb to kind of hold that pin in place so it doesn't move around. Then I'm going to take the hub disc right here and now this is the, my top and I'm going to come in from underneath. So I got the bottom here and I'm going to plunge the, the pivot arm into the bottom so you, you see the the little tube is going into that square hole, or the, that rectangular hole that we talked about before. And I'm going to rotate this upwards like that. Just like that, see? So, but I want to, so now my bottom is facing up. And I want to take just a little bit of super glue. So here's my super glue. Pick it up with the toothpick and put it just on this corner right here. Because what we don't want is we don't want any glue getting into the crevice right there where the, the pivot arm will pivot on that tube. Okay, so I'm picking up a little bit more glue and I'm going to do the other side. And I want to try to keep glue out of that cut line there as much as I can. Probably going to be a little bit in there, but that's okay. And then flip it over and put a little bit on this side as well. Now if you use your glue bottle, you don't have control where that glue is going. All right, so then the InstaSet is super glue accelerator, so it makes super glue kick a lot harder or faster, which means it cures faster. And I don't want to use a lot, so I'm going to do the same trick. I'm going to put a little bit on my plastic sheet, and I'm going to use a different toothpick or a different rod to pick that up and put that on the super glue. Remember, keep stay away from that that middle because that would be bad. Basically what you're going to have to do is get some super glue debonder and put it on there, try to get that super glue off so that you can re-glue it on. Okay, so this should, should pivot really nice and easy, just like that. Okay, so now I got to do the other two, so the same way. So I'm going to take the little pivot arm, one of the aluminum tubes, put it through the tube, or put it through the hole, um, then hold it like this and then press up against it so that I can control that tube so it doesn't fall out when I spin it back and forth. And I'm going in through the bottom. Just like that. And then I'm pushing this down like that. This is so small, I hope you can see it. I'm going to pick up super glue from my plastic and put it on those edges. Put 
This is the most critical step in the construction of the rocket. So if you get this, if you get past this part, we're home free. Okay. Need a little bit more kicker. I call it kicker, but an accelerator or insta set because it makes it kick fast. It's spinning nice and freely. Okay. Now I'm going to do the last one. So I'm picking up my tube in the post, the pivot post. Bring that in there. Flipping it over. Putting the pivot arm down so that it's out of the way. Okay, so on this last one, I can just spray the whole thing. Okay, make sure that they, they pivot nice and easy. I'll wipe that up. All right, so now I'm going to pause here, and in the next video, we'll pick up where we left off here.